Today we're going to be going over B5 of Putnam 2006. This problem is about maximizing an integral. It states for each continuous function from 0, 0, 1 to r, let i of f be x integral from 0 to 1 of x squared f of x, and j of x be the integral from 0 to 1 of x f of x squared. Find the maximum value of i of f minus j of f over all such functions f. So we're trying to maximize the integral from 0 to 1 of x squared f of x minus x f of x whole squared. If you want to pause the video and give the problem a try, do so now. Now that I hope you've given the problem a try, here's how to do it. At first, I did think that it would be related to Cauchy-Schwartz because of the squares, but as it turns out, you can't really get that to work, not to my knowledge at least. However, what you can try is what we do with quadratic functions. We see that there's a lot of square terms here, so perhaps we can do some completing the square. Let's see where that takes us. It seems reasonable to consider f of x minus a half x whole squared because this a half is going to, you know, by the nature of squaring, become minus x f of x, which is somewhat close to the term we have. So let's just see where this takes us. That would be f squared of x minus x f of x plus 1 over 4 x squared. Now you see that what we have is x times f of x squared and x squared f of x. It's just, it looks like we're just missing an x here. So what if I multiply this whole thing out by x? That would then expand out to give x f of x squared minus x squared f of x plus 1 over 4 x cubed, which is at least a part of it is what we have, At least, except it's just reversed. We can add a negative sign to account for that. So it seems to be the case that I can rewrite this integral as so. I can rewrite i of f minus j of f as this is then equal to the integral from 0 to 1 of x cubed over 4. This is this subtracted from x times f of x minus a half x squared. And just for sanity's sake, we can expand this out all over again. We see that this would be f squared of x times x. This would be plus x f of x. <coughs> and this would be minus 1 over 4 sorry, that should be plus x squared f of x, and this would be minus 1 over 4 x cubed. The 1 over 4 x cubed and this cancel out, so all we're just left with is this, minus x f, of f squared of x plus x squared f of x, which is actually exactly our integral. So <clears throat> now that we've gotten that it's equal to this expression right here, we see that well, regardless of what I choose, this square, it's always going to be positive. So we're always going to be subtracting something positive from x cubed over 4, thus making our function smaller, unless this term is 0. So if f of x equals 1 over 2x, the integral becomes the integral from 0 to 1 of x cubed over 4, and that's the maximum value you can get, because any other variance in f of x would lead to a non-zero term being subtracted from here. So the integral would simply be x cubed over 4, which we can integrate quite easily as uh, x to the 4 over 4 from 0 to 1, which is 1 over 16. And so our maximum value should be theoretically 1 over 16. And we can test if this works, and actually we know that it works. It is obtained at f of x equals 1 over 2x. And that's the problem solved. This would be the maximum value obtained over all functions defined as such. That marks the end of the video. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like and comment what you liked the most. If you did not enjoy the video, 
also leave a comment letting me know how I can improve. I'm always open to hearing your suggestion. Please don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell notification so that you can get notified whenever I post. I also have an Instagram page where I post notes regarding theory in mathematics. If that is interesting to you, please do consider following that as well. My at is creative underscore math underscore.